The AP administrator and Mayor Chukwe Angela Mumba held a roundtable with community leaders today and discussed the current status of the city's current infrastructure. EP Administrator Michael Regan says that he has been working closely with state and city officials on short and long-term solutions. Now, right now, the mayor believes that the city is moving in the right direction. Regan says his goal is to have a judicial a judicially enforceable plan in place that would be approved by the city council, then a federal judge. He says details of the plan cannot be talked about publicly yet, but says that he will continue working with officials to bring residents clean drinking water once and for all. It goes without saying that the people of Jackson, Mississippi, just like everyone else in this country, uh, deserve access to clean, safe, affordable water. And while EPA, yes, is focused on the current emergency response activities, we're also working in partnership to ensure that Jackson residents have sustainable water for the mid and longer terms as well. There's no word yet on what possible solutions look like or how long it could take to completely end the water crisis. Jackson City Council met behind closed doors today to discuss the ongoing water crisis. They cited confidentiality agreements with the EPA for this closed executive session. Negotiations on an emergency operator for Jackson's water treatment systems have been going on for a month. The council named Water Talent LLC of California as its preferred choice for a temporary contractor Thursday on a four to, last Thursday on a four to zero vote. Councilman Ashby Foote says he expects a vote on a final agreement this Thursday.